Lamey baby, Hammy. Very nice to meet you. I'm medical surgeon Rip Torn. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, yes. So, I would like to just spend my money on something. Really? Did you have anything in mind? Um, we have very many things at this hospital. Do you have 25 pigs? 25 pigs? For what purpose? Oh, of course, I'm a pig farmer. Pig farmer? From the what? Bahamas. So, uh, well, I do not have any pigs. Were you looking for any pig parts, perhaps? No, 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 no. You told me I could have 25 pigs. That was not our agreement. You must have misunderstood my email. Email. I'm a pig farmer from the Bahamas, and you think I read emails? Well, that was our understanding. Well, I must let you know, I do do surgeries, so I have pig parts. But I do not have 25 pigs. Could you get me 25 pigs? Possibly, but you are the pig farmer. I would think that you would know where to find the pigs. Well, our agreement was I'd come here, you'd tell me some stuff about some surgery, and then you'd give me 25 pigs. Ah, oh, so you have read my email. No, my wife did. She just told me about it. As you can see, I was recently grooming my pigs. So, I came here in quite a rush when I heard there's 25 pigs for sale. Interesting. Well, we may be able to work something out. Uh, but I don't know any other pig farmers. You are, would be the one that I would go to as the authority on the subject. So, I can offer you some pig hearts that I have in excess. What would that do me any good for? I don't know. Well, why don't I just give my 25 pigs and go? Just give me some. The thing is, I don't actually have any pigs. Are, I are, only carry pig parts. Aren't doctors all just like Frankenstein? They can just create something? Like, you can put all the pig parts together and create 25 pigs. Is that right? No. <laughs> what did I watch all the movies for, though? Well, um, I think uh, you're going to have to go somewhere else for that. Uh, I don't think you're going to find it at this hospital, although it is a very fine establishment. Thank you for your business. Well, you know what? If I can't get 25 pigs, I'm just going to go. You know, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Ready? Action. Hi. I am, they just call me the big love drop kid. Hi, I am Gunny Gondola. Gunny Gondola. Yep. Gunny Gondola. Yeah, that's my name. Who in the heck would name their son Gunny Gondola? Oh, mom and dad. Where was your mom and dad from? Montana. Okay, but first off, you're 15 minutes late. That's not a very good start. Yeah, well, my horse went west instead of east. You have a horse? Yep. It read street signs? Yep. How could it read? It's a special horse. What kind of specialities does it have? Well, it can read, it can fly. What kind of fantasy land are you living in? <laughs> Unicorn land. <laughs> what kind of person did I hurt you? <laughs> okay, okay. <Ranger. laughs> You know how you can tell? She's like a manager full of 1,000.
car they do. Nah. Not because she sells cars. Because people think she's a car. You could probably get in her a drive. <laughs> Dang. She's so ugly, she scared the witches at Halloween. Golly! Her pimples are like mountains with snow coming out the top. <laughs> Golly! Gosh, she's coming over here with Susie. She's going to give us yeah. a what for. Hey, hey, you said you had a horse, right? Did yeah. you bring up? Did you bring two? No, only one. Well, how, how am I supposed to get away from that monstrosity? You don't. Wait, we could ride two seater. You in the front, I in the back, like a car, a river room. Yeah, but my horse may buck you off a couple times. You may break a leg, break a finger, break a hand, you know. Well, anything's better than that. She's probably going to break our faces and our emotions. Then. But hey, I say we get on the horse, we go back to your place, lay low, and then we come back when... Her mom's probably dead. What now? <laughs> well, I didn't hear anything about dying. Well, let's go, let's go. Hey, this is WCIA News. Rayman Running here, interviewing... Uh, Marsha Marsha? And your new book, I understand. Yes, uh, this is my new book. It's called uh, UFOs Holographic. Well, I happen to be in the market for a new assistant, although I am not in the actual CIA. This is WCIA. What are you going to have for me? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, so, um, as you know, um, I'd be so happy to have the, the new position. Um, so, you know, space. Uh, have you ever been to space? I'm not sure about that. Well, uh, space is all around us. And it's also up there. And uh, my new book, my new book, this is my new book. Is um, it now? Yeah. Um, so my new book talks about space and aliens and UFOs. And, you know, the truth is out there, like they say. Now, are you actually from the planet Earth? I mean, who could really say? I, I don't really know. <laughs> but, um, you know, I... I really have a lot of thoughts on it, which are all in my book. Um, I don't know if you've read it, but you really should. You should get a copy. Um, well, I would be interested if you would consider an assistant position at WCIA. Would you be interested in something no like way. that? No way. Stop it. Stop it. Really? Oh, yes. I do not joke. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> That's good enough for me, folks. What about you? I think I have a new assistant in the running. Really? Do you think so? I think so. This is Ray Ben Runny signing yeah, off. Um, so, what are your thoughts on aliens? Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs>